okay today in sparrow's 10 minute discussion program case we are discussing this topic this is more useful for the mains program but prelims also some facts you can use it as it is okay so the question is new biomedical waste management rules will change the way country used to manage waste earlier explain let's analyze the question once the question keyword is explain so you need to explain whatever being asked in this question so what is asked in this question new biomedical waste management rules so you should have enough information with you related with the latest biomedical waste management rules the question is not clear which one is new is it 2018 2020 2025 whatever it is it is not given in the question so you should have enough awareness about which one is the latest biomedical waste management rules and it says it is going to change the way the country is handling the biomedical waste today okay so this statement has been taken from PAB website government of India so this is very important so what you have to write here you have to write the features you have to write the different new provisions in this biomedical waste management amendment rules 2018 2016 biomedical waste management rules was there that is amended in 2018 by the latest amendment so there are several provisions in this that is giving a freshness to the these new rules these new rules that is giving actually a new way of handling these rules very stringent provision more accountability okay more better technological usage for tracking whatever waste is generated how it is being transported how it is going to be treated handled and all let's look into the provisions okay you understood the question so 2018 is the most important thing how it is more better than 2016 that's it you just need to explain that you don't need to cross check that okay this is bad how it is bad what all recommendations i have no your recommendation is not required here in this explain question okay so biomedical waste generators under this biomedical waste generators will have to phase out chlorinated plastic bags by march 27 2019 first provision so there is a stringent provision for phasing out chlorinated plastic bags second one all healthcare facilities healthcare facilities means all clinics all hospitals including government private all all healthcare facilities shall make available the annual report on its website so in its website it needs to give annual report of how much waste it generated how it is handled who is being handled how it is okay so all the details should be there and the handlers of biomedical waste should do barcoding and a GPS system in their vehicles for efficient tracking. Why barcoding is there? If barcoding is there, if some waste got dumped by some agency, some handlers in some, some places, we can easily ensure the accountability who is responsible behind that. So we can catch them, we can punish them easily. You might have noticed that while traveling through the highways and all, many places these waste are being dumped. That may be slaughter waste or biomedical waste, etc. etc. Okay, next one. State Pollution Control Board has now a special job. What is that special job? They need to submit a report to the Central Pollution Control Board. What they need to report? They need to report related with the each district how they are handling the biomedical waste. So each district needs to submit. It's a biomedical waste management report to the state pollution control board. They will cross check that. They will verify that. Then they will submit their report to central agency. Pre-treat waste. So wherever waste is being generated, pre-treatment is must. So this is the crux of this biomedical waste management amendment rules 2018. If you need more point, I will give you the expanded version. The salient features of biomedical waste management rules 2018 so biomedical waste generators including hospital nursing homes clinics dispensaries veterinary institution animal houses pathological laboratories blood banks health care facilities and clinical establishments what they have to do they have to phase out chlorinated bags and gloves by 2019 march 27 all healthcare facilities shall make available 
annual report on their website within two year time. What? From the date of publication of these rules, within two year time, they need to give the annual report of the waste generated and handled. Third one, operators of common biomedical waste treatment and disposal facilities. So there are many agencies, they collect and they process and they handle this biomedical waste. They shall establish barcoding and GPS for handling biomedical waste in accordance with the guidelines issued by the Central Pollution Control Board. Okay, they need to adhere by their rules. The State Pollution Control Board, Pollution Control Committees have to compile, review and analyze. So they need to compile, they need to review and analyze the information received and send this information, THIS, send this information to the Central Pollution Board in a new form which seeks detailed information regarding district-wise biomedical waste generation, information on healthcare facilities having captive treatment facilities, information on common biomedical waste treatment etc. Are you getting it? Fifth one, every occupier, a person having administrative control over the institution and the premises generating the biomedical waste shall pre-treat the laboratory waste, microbiological waste, blood samples, blood bags, okay, as the way the prescribed manner provided by the World Health Organization, okay. So this is it. Thank you. I believe it might be useful for you. Thank you.